So what is up guys? It's that cop guy coming back at you guys. So uh, I had a question from Noah Danison. He asked me to make a video like this about what it's like being in every single position and what the training is for those positions in like a day-to-day -day situation. Things I didn't cover in the day in a life video. So stay tuned and here we go. Alright guys, so I'm here to give it to you guys straight of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, how it goes and everything like that. So, depending upon my editing skills and how good it's going to be, I might insert a clip right here that will kind of give you a little hype video of security forces and then I will tell you about the real thing about security forces uh, depending how my editing goes. So starting out with IEC, the uh, biggest thing you're going to be doing is just checking IDs. You're going to be working a gate. Um, so basically what you're doing here is you are looking for people that are driving under the influence. Um, because the first place that you can catch something and therefore you can save lives and potentially stop accidents uh, is with catching it at the gate so that way they can't go on base and then run into somebody or run somebody over or anything like that. Um, so that's a big part of it. You're going to be doing that stuff. You're going to be uh, anybody that's driving on like suspended licenses, anybody that has, you know, potential for having drugs in the car, stuff like that. So you're going to be looking, you, your main job there is to check IDs and ensure that uh, people have the proper IDs to come on base and you're keeping civilians off base. But then the secondary thing that you are there to do is to basically make sure that uh, nobody gets on base with uh, drugs, firearms, uh, nobody's driving on base that's intoxicated, uh, things of that nature. Um, there's not really, uh, really too much to it. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty simple. Um, but it is a very important job for people to have. Uh, and people don't really understand it. Uh, the next one we're going to go into is uh, basically being a patrolman, so that's your RFL stuff. So for your RFL stuff, uh, you are a you're basically just a regular police officer that drives around in cars. So you're going to be pulling people over for like expired tags, expired inspections here in Virginia. Uh, you're going to be pulling people over for like traffic violations, stuff like that. But then the thing that goes different here is now that you are on a military installation, you will be pulling, you will uh, be doing, um, you'll be going into building alarms, um, funds that score. I mean, there's a lot of different things that goes into it. You know, domestic violence happens, anything like that, anything in the nature, uh, fights on base, uh, stealing. You know, anything you can think of that a regular uh, police officer will do, that is what we're going to be doing when we are RFL. Um, so, the, uh, and then uh, the other one for like the uh, other airmen um, is you will be doing flight line security. Now, flight line security will differ base to base, but for this base, it is, uh, you basically, you're in a vehicle, it's a, uh, and you guys just uh, cruise around. And you guys make sure that uh, everybody that's coming onto the flight line has the uh, proper credentials to be able to come on a flight line. And they're allowed to be there and they're not just coming there, just some random person just trying to come out on a flight line, coming to play with your planes and stuff. You don't want to do that. Alright, so now what kind of training do you get for these different positions? Well, for IEC and for uh, flight line, it's all tied into IEC. So when you uh, do your uh, your qualifications for IEC, it is for flight line and for IEC. Um, so, but if you are you know a good airman uh, and a good defender, then you should know RFL also because you might get put on the road. And the sooner that you know the things for RFL, the sooner that you could potentially get put on a road. So, uh, 
as for training goes, we do our regular training days, and our regular training days consist of like going over forms, going over tickets, going over you know statements, everything that pretty much implies throughout whether you're RFL, IEC, anything like uh, pretty much every position that you could go into, we cover that in training, so that way everybody understands what's going on. Um, so we do all of our forms and everything we do uh, so the other day we did combatives so we do like a yearly combatives deal so we, we uh, brush up on our combatives so we you know make sure you don't forget anything and touch up on it if you did forget anything um, also we do uh, yearly f regular firing we do uh, yearly pro firing we do uh, SMC, which is uh, shoot, move, communicate. So we do all that stuff with sim rounds. Um, we also do a bunch of FTXs. I uh, believe we were doing it every quarter, but I think now we're narrowing it down to two times a year. So every six months we're gonna be doing that. And it's basically you go out in the field for a week or so and you're out there with uh, blank ammunition or live ammunition and basically you're just running through drills of what to do how to you know f uh, take over a city how to um, storm you know an airfield how to you know it all depends depending on what we go do uh, but you'll do a bunch of different things it also includes like land nav uh, a bunch of other stuff so like our actual training for it is honestly endless. Um, plus not only just the training that they offer you that it, they make mandatory for you to do, you can go do other training. Uh, you can go do uh, SRT training. You can go do uh, more uh, traffic investigations training. So then you can get, uh, now you can be like a major uh, traffic investigator, stuff like that. Uh, you can then go and do canine, you can uh, go raven training, you can go to dagger school, Like there, you can go to air assault school, you can go to airborne school. There's so many different things you can do as long as you want to put the work in to go do it. So it really, all, all of our training really depends on how much you want to put in it. Do you want to do the bare minimum? or do you want to go the extra mile to better yourself and do things while you are in the military that you cannot do in a civilian life and get paid to go do it so i'm going to end it on that note guys uh so go ahead drop a like drop comments down below i've been thinking about possibly doing a live chat uh see how it maybe on like a friday or something like that either a Friday or maybe like a Saturday night. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. See, uh, let me know if you guys would actually, you know, tune in to the live chat, see what we can do. Um, and if I get a good feedback out of that, then I'm definitely going to do something like that. Uh, otherwise, guys, uh, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, all these videos are coming from uh, the guys down below in the comment section that are dropping these things that are wanting to see these videos and that's why I'm putting them out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, go check out uh, That Cop Guy Facebook group and also go uh, check out the That Cop Guy with some underscores in there. Instagram, I'm going to drop a link to all that stuff down below. Go ahead and check that stuff out and I'll see you guys later.